It's easy to get some great footage with a brushless gimbal, but balancing them can be a bit tricky. Hey everybody, Marcus here, and today we're gonna show you how to set up, balance, and operate the Argo 3-axis gimbal from Kame TV. Let's start with the middle handle, then take the side handles, connect them to the middle handle, and lock them down. Now, let's connect the gimbal to the handles. Simply slide the gimbal into the locking plate on the middle handle until you hear a click, and then lock it down. Next, we attach the battery. The battery just slides right onto the back of the gimbal. Lock the screws, and power it up. Our gimbal's all set up, so now it's time to balance it. A good test to determine where to begin balancing the gimbal is to lay the camera on its back and see which way it falls. This gimbal is not properly balanced. Let's first adjust the balance left or right. Loosen the thumb screws on the back, then slide the camera left or right until it's balanced. Now, adjust the tilt so the camera isn't falling forward or backwards. Release the locking lever and slide the camera forward or backwards until it can sit without falling over. Now to adjust the height. Use the locking levers on the side to unlock the up and down axis. Then, use the fine tuning knobs underneath to adjust the position up or down until it's balanced. Time to balance the yaw. To do this, lift up on one side of the gimbal. If the camera drops to one side or another, we can make one last adjustment. Unlock the lever on the top of the gimbal, just above the battery. Then use the fine tuning knob to adjust the position forward or backward until the camera is balanced. Now you've got your gimbal all set up and balanced and you're ready to start getting some footage, but first let's cover some of the different profiles or modes on the Argo. The Argo's remote control is used to cycle through the different profiles. The different profiles change how the gimbal will operate. Profile one follows both the pan and the tilt. Profile two follows just the pan. And profile three follows neither the pan nor the tilt. Leveling and balancing takes a good amount of time, but with patience and a steady hand or two, you'll be ready to capture smooth, breathtaking gimbal shots. Thanks for watching.